All right. I've been in the business of giving advice, uh, advice, opinion, suggestions, consultation, opinions for the last, I think, say 20 years, roughly 20 years. I started it from the age of 30. I used to do it for free. Like, you know, when I was, let's say, for example, a bodybuilder in the gym, I could lift 200 kilos and someone who was lifting only 20 kilos would ask me, how do I become big? Yeah, I would just share free advice. Those days it was free. And someone would say, how to do this exercise when I was running a gym and uh, they wanted coaching. Fine. That is also, I got paid a little bit of money there. And then uh, I was very good at public speaking competitively uh, for Toastmasters. People used to come to me for advice from script writing to delivery to competitive speaking because I myself was on the receiving end. Uh, because remember, before the age of 30, I was constantly asking people for advice, guidance. Uh, I used to read books. You can see all these books at the back. Okay. I used to go for seminars, coaches, uh, events, conferences. Uh, I would go for paid coaching. I'd go to one-to-one -one coaching. I would try different, different disciplines. Um, literally, because, you know, I wanted to improve. Okay. Everything from Tony Robbins, Jim Rohn, uh, Harvey McKay, whatever. You name it, I was into it. Okay. So, after a certain period of time, when I gained a slight level of expertise, people started coming to me for advice. First, it was for free. And eventually, because... You know, um, I started to get busy. I was selective. And then when I found out people who were willing to pay, oh, why not? And then I got into it full time. And full time is where now my profile is. And this is what I do today. Okay. However, I'm not like an expert in everything. This is what I tell people. I don't know everything. I know only a few things and I'm very good at those things. There are some things which I'm an expert, like personal branding, or you could say relationship advice, because I made a lot of mistakes. Say, for example, uh, what mistakes I've done in life, I'm an expert, like tattooing or books or self-improvement or mastery or even physical. I've experimented with myself from steroids to non-steroids to every possible, uh, you know, circus fad that was there to gain weight, lose weight, whatever. I've experimented with all this. And then there are some general stuff that I have a common sense approach, like logic. For example, cryptocurrency. I may not know how a cryptocurrency, the technical side, how you can find the wallet number or how you can detect some. I don't know the technical side of it, but I definitely know that cryptocurrency is nothing but gambling and uh, speculation. Okay, that is my opinion and which has stood the test of time because whomsoever invested very early when cryptocurrency, let's say Bitcoin was, say, $1, when it became $65,000, they made a lot of money. Okay. But if you get into it late now, don't think you're going to become rich. The common sense. Okay. And then there are other areas where I totally have no idea. Okay. Like people have asked me, should I invest in A-class shares, B-class shares? Should I invest in stocks, commodities, uh, flipping houses, buying houses? Boss, I don't know about all that. Okay. So the, this is about me in terms of giving advice. But now what happens is in today's day and age of social media, where you have every YouTuber, every influencer, every podcaster who presents another individual who is an expert. You can have Alex Hormozy gives you advice about making 100 million, how you can make 100 million. Okay, he'll tell you how you can make 100 million in one year or something. Fine. Then you'll have uh, guys like Andrew Huberman, how you can, you know, raise your health to peak levels. Fine. Then you have uh, these wannabe coaches, fake it till you make it coaches, scammers, fraudsters who give you advice. Okay. And then there are also people nowadays, like normal people, normal individuals who are in their 40s, 50s, 60s, who give you advice about investing, about life, about marriage, about health, about wisdom. Okay. There are even retired business people. So different people have different opinions. Fine. But now here's the challenge. The person who's giving you advice, is it good for you or bad for you? That's a very simple question to ask. Is a person who's giving you advice good for you or bad for you? And what are the factors you should consider when someone gives you advice? That is the million dollar question. Okay. 
over the years of me giving advice, what I've realized is there are, you know, there are well-intentioned people we have in our lives. We have a mother, father, grandmother, uncle, aunt. We have our elders who give us advice and they have good intentions. Intentions are good. They want the best for us, especially if your mother, father loves you. But the question is, do they have the expertise? Let's say a mother and father says, you know, son, marry this girl. She is from a good family. She is a good girl and get a child immediately. Now, I understand where they're coming from. I understand why they're telling me this. But the question is, today's day and age, are you mentally, emotionally ready to marry a girl who is also influenced by social media? Okay, are you ready? Are you ready to have a child? Are you ready to give? Because today the child is not just going to school and coming back. The child faces a hell lot of dynamics, distractions and problems and issues and challenges and the cost of living is no longer what it used to be. So they come from a good place. They have good intentions, but is it the right thing for you? Sometimes I get people who tell me, uh, Loy, I want to take your advice, but my wife says you're satanic. You're evil. You are uh, what? Uh, uh, you're the devil. Serious. Because apparently for some Muslims or some people, I look like the devil. Even Christians have that. I look like the satanic. I have, they say some of the symbols are uh, the satanic star or satanic cult, whatever. Okay, fine. So there are people like that. Okay. So then I ask them, maybe that person is right. Maybe you should listen to their advice. Because if you are telling me that your wife's opinion, this is what it is, and you feel strong about it, then you should listen to them. Listen to your mother and father. There are actually some mothers and fathers who tell their youngsters, this guy, he looks like a mental gone case, unstable with these tattoos. Don't go to him. He's a bad person. He's evil. And I don't blame them. I'm not, I would never say that they are wrong. Why? Because no one who's normal would do this. No one in their right mind would want to have a life like I did. I made plenty of mistakes because there's nobody to guide me. So obviously, if I would see my daughter date a guy who looks like this, I would not say, hey, he's a nice guy. No, I'd be like, something is wrong with him. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm not stupid. I'm not immature to understand that what I've done and the backlash I've received for it, it holds, it holds right. So if someone misunderstands uh, or you know judges me the wrong way, they are not at fault. It's me. Okay. So who's giving you advice? What are they giving you advice? You have to use your common sense. And then you need to ask yourself, you know, there are people who just love to give advice and they're not qualified to give. Like your uncle, your aunt, they will talk to you about, oh, become a doctor, become an engineer, study hard, go to this place, go to that place, marry this girl. Do they have the credentials? Do they have the expertise to give you that advice? Okay. And sometimes if one guy is a doctor and he is very happy with his life, does that mean if you become a doctor, you'll be happy with your life? Let's say he married this girl that he met from the village in his childhood and he married her when he was 16 or 18. Does that mean if today you marry someone who's 16 or 18 with you being 16 or 18, same age, you'll be happy? No, because you need to use common sense, boss. Okay. Then... Is the advice applicable to you? Like, for example, uh, Alex Hormozy says, oh, you can make $100 million if you do it in three months. You can get 1 million subscribers if you put like this and you get a team. And he gives lots of advice, lots of advice. Okay. Now, tell me one thing. If 100 people were to follow his advice, would all the 100 people achieve the same results? No, no. Absolutely open challenge. My open challenge to you, you listen to Alex Hormozzi's advice to make a hundred million, you will not even make maybe $10,000. Open challenge. Open challenge. Do it and show me. Because they, just because they were at the right place at the right time doing the right things. And I'm not saying that he got a silver spoon or got it easy. He is not you. His nationality is not yours. His background is not yours. The time that he did what he did, it's not the right time for you. If you are staying in Bangladesh with the, the trials, tribulations, problems uh, that you are facing, do you think you can become an Alex Hormozzi? No, you're stupid. You're absolutely stupid to believe that. 
you and him are totally two different people just because i tattooed myself does that mean if you tattoo yourself you're going to be perfect come on man uh, not perfect your life is going to be like me just because i migrated to thailand if you come here your life is going to be like mine no just because i started something online you start something online no they are all different okay the next one which you need to ask yourself is generic versus specific advice these guys on youtube who give their podcasts videos and even me i give you generic advice i give you common sense advice but it is not it may or may not be applicable to you in every aspect like for example uh, let's say i i tell you you need to break away from your mother and father or leave their house and start something your own okay this is something which i have promulgated and told people you need to do now is this advice applicable to everyone and why do i give this advice let's say your mother and father are in their 70s and they loved you a lot and they gave you proper upbringing if you do that they might die or let's say for example your mother and father uh, you stay as a joint family and they are doing everything in their power to give you a good life but you are a distracted person you smoke you drink you do drugs you are addicted to female and only because of the fear for them you stay disciplined now if you follow my advice and leave them you you will be destroyed because you are a magnet for all the bad things do you understand what i'm trying to say is it generic advice and is it applicable to you just keep ask yourself that question okay and then yeah, this is the biggest one that really drives me nuts i won't take the name of the youtuber but this young man young man uh, in uh, uk is an indian of pakistani origin uh, he lost weight when he was 14 or 15 and he chiseled down uh, you know getting six pack abs and all that and he started giving lecturing people advice uh, on life getting girls improving and he blew up he started to get millions of followers millions huh? and uh, then he started to sell courses on how to be strong there is that and he got many people who purchased and then obviously greed got to him and he started scamming people taking from $5000 to $10000 and $9000 to speak to him and he'll change your life and whatever just imagine this guy is in his 20s 20 and he's advising you on life marriage children Uh, success he is advising on everything how can a 20 year old advise you on life when he has not been through life when he has not been through all the ups and downs that come from uh, 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 tell me one thing someone who is 60 years old uh, does he have more experience of life or someone who is just 16 years old what are you going to tell me oh it's the number of years in your life or is the quality of the years in your life what what bullshit are you going to give me if that is the case then a 80 year old should be more wise than a 80 year old right come on man i don't understand how people can fall and then you get these people who worship and admire andrew tate oh alpha male he is saying the problems that young men are facing yeah the problems are legit but what is the solution his course you take advice from a guy who smokes a cigar pimps women whose life is nothing but uh, in legal troubles and who makes money by pimping out his nonsense this common sense man and is his advice applicable to a guy who is studying in india who can't even pay his day to day bills we saw i in my group we saw this one indian guy who's migrated to canada who his english is terrible his personality is that of a labor class like road style construction guy and he can't even talk in english and this female is asking me so what do you do in canada oh i uh, i'm searching for i want to be a businessman don't you want a job no i'm like andrew tate fan i don't want job i have to fight matrix matrix try control all of us i don't want control i want to be alpha male i will get uh, many ladies see see the stupidity and then last if not the least okay is uh are you serious about this mentoring process are you serious about taking advice and guidance like 
for example let's say you want to be a, i use this example you want to be a professional fighter say a boxer can you be a boxer by looking at videos and looking at the video duk duk and you practice this way or do you have should have a coach and he should guide you spend one hour one to one and you should put every single day consistent effort which one would help you better you know by listening to podcasts by listening to watching videos by reading books you're not going to be an expert on anything you are just going to be another wikipedia spewing out what you memorized it's like studying for an exam and regurgitating what you study doesn't make you an expert at all if you really want to improve it's an investment of time effort money creativity sacrifice so many things you cannot be like for example even being a youtuber even putting out content like this even speaking like this marketing selling is a it has taken me years 30 years you can't just do it yes there are people who just start a youtube channel and make 1 million and they become viral but it is one in a billion it is like winning a lottery ticket one in a billion what do you think your chances are to win say 1 billion us dollars in a lottery ticket non existent So all I want to tell you through this video is, when you are seeking advice, when you are taking advice from someone, ask yourself all these questions, boss. Ask yourself all these questions and sort. And if you want to give advice, if you want to give advice, get your credentials, get your experience, get your expertise, and sort out your own shit first. Put your house in order, like Jordan Peterson says, and then try to change the world. Don't become this coach, consultant, and expert nobody is going to fall for it at least today nobody is going to fall for it so please ask yourself these questions that i gave you who is giving you advice what are their credentials what are their background is this advice applicable to you okay like alex ormozy says uh, 200 million 100 million and uh, become viral and all that is it generic is it specific the profile of the person is he a 20 year old or is he a 60 year old and are you taking just advice that you see one time one one book and one podcast and one youtube or are you engaging in one to one mentoring and coaching think about all this think about all this what i've shared with you and you let me know if what i'm saying makes sense or not all right love to know your thoughts and remember giving advice is very easy giving advice is damn easy the easiest thing in the world you need to work on it you need to work on that is why with my clients with my students i tell them listen knowledge is not power these words nothing is going on you need to start doing action right action right time right place in the right amounts and then you will achieve success let me know what are your thoughts in the comments below good bad ugly love to hear from you smee signing off take care